Hey, Brian from Garage Wall. If you have one of these uh, Ford Transits, oh, this is my milk delivery van, and uh, you're gonna run across this where the door switch goes bad on you uh, for your windows. Let me just keep that there. So what I mean is if you go into your van and you try to operate the windows and your switches, well, let's give some power to it. So my right window works from the switch, but then the driver's side, there's no response. Okay, so this is a quick fix. Let's get the key out of the way. Um, for this window switch, let me get the angle here. Better with my camera. Okay, so this switch is pretty easy to get out of the way. So you need a one of these body pry tools. Um, so non-marring, I mean, you could use like, you could even use like a butter knife or a larger flathead screwdriver, but this is non-marring, so it's not gonna mark the door up on you. But you're basically getting in under here and you are kind of prying up on it and you have a little clip in the back and then you wanna pull it back and then up. So that's how you get that. And you gotta kind of wiggle it a little bit, hold this little piece in here so it's not gonna pull wires. And you gotta pull it up and just get enough slack that you can get in here and you're gonna be hitting this button, this little lever here, and that will release the back piece. Or at least it should anyway. It's usually, they're on there from the factory, so they're tight, it's so a little wiggle. That gets out of the way. And then on the back side of this, you have another little lever here. You press and you pull that out. And try to hang on to them because if you let go sometimes they will creep back in and this is your new switch and it's a little bit different it has different clips on it see how it's kind of bent in here so you're going to kind of put it in here and then set it down like that but let's get this the cabling set so we're going to put this piece in on this side make sure it snaps into place and then you're going to do this one and same thing, make sure it snap, snaps in, you'll hear it. This one's really slight, but it's in there. So what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna wiggle it down and then put it forward like that. And then you're gonna push it down. And then it'll basically, it should lock itself down at the place here. Okay, so there we go. Kinda of like push, pull it back and it'll, there we go. Make a nice better fit. And then we put our ignition in. So, passenger side, and now your driver's side works. And then back up again. So that's your quick and easy uh, switch replacement. And uh, other than that, Brian from Garage Ball, I'm just looking to see if these clips, if I can put any of these clips into a new one, but doesn't look like it's set up that way. But anyhow, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching, and that is your quick and easy uh, transit switch replacement. Be safe out there.